Hi, it's Stephen Lewis, and let's talk about Captain Marvel. Got a chance to check it out early. It is, of course, in theaters this weekend, and it's the latest installment in Marvel's long line of very, very successful comic book movies. Uh, it starts off with a fantastic tribute to the late, great Stan Lee, and that drew a round of applause from myself and everybody in the audience. Of course, it would not be the Marvel Universe without Stan Lee and, of course, Jack Kirby, so it is good to see him getting respect paid to him even a few months after his untimely passing. All right, let's get into Captain Marvel. Brie Larson as the title character. Now, this one... Uh, it's the one that comes out before the next chapter of Avengers, which everybody is waiting for, but it actually takes place in the mid-90s. We go back on time a little bit. We see a young Phil Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Thor fame. We also see a younger version of Nicholas J. Fury, played by Samuel L. Jackson. He's been de-aged a little bit, and it's fun to see him be Nick Fury before he becomes the Nick Fury that we know today. Um, my first thought with this movie is it's kind of a character that maybe not a lot of people know of. Uh, what Marvel did a really good job of is taking the character's comic book costume, uh, which is really over-sexualized, and changing it into something that's more uh, user-friendly for everybody. And Brie Larson does a good job wearing it and acting in it. Her fight scenes come across really good. Uh, for me, the story bounces around a little bit. You start off on an alien world that you saw before a little bit in Guardians of the Galaxy, and then you kind of bounce back to Earth in the 90s. I did love it when we got to Earth just because... There are a lot of mid-90s references, things like uh, dial-up internet and blockbuster video. Obviously, you've seen the trailer is still there. Pay phones were still a thing. So there's a lot of fun stuff that they have with that. You see kind of like the early beginnings of S.H.I.E.L.D. And Ben Mendelsohn is the guy who really shines. He plays Talos, which is this Skrull, which is a race of aliens that are shapeshifters that take the form of other people. And they kind of land on Earth, and her job is to stop them from assimilating the universe, essentially. Uh, the one thing the movie does, that's twists and turns. You never know who's really good. You never know who's essentially really bad. Jude Law, uh, to me, he's a little bit underused, but for what he does, he's fine. Annette Benning is in it as well. And it's kind of weird to see her in this type of role. But uh, it looks like everybody had fun with the movie. I think my prob biggest problem with the movie is good, not great. I thought Black Panther was good. It didn't deserve all the hype that it got. It was just good for me. I, As far as comic book movies, I won't rank this in my top five. I enjoyed it, but it's not one that I was really, truly like, man, I can't wait to see that again. And I think part of it might be the first-time directors that are behind it. When the Russos brothers did what they did with Captain America and then with Avengers Infinity War, I was blown away by the twist they put with the characters. And same thing with James Gunn in Guardians of the Galaxy. This one doesn't have that feel to me. It's not bad. It's just not over-the-top great. Um, it's She shines, and there will be definitely moments where girl power is in full effect, and I liked her as a character, and I loved Brie Larson. I can't say enough good things about her. It's just overall the story was just kind of eh for me. We'll see what happens when it goes down the road. Uh, definitely worth seeing on the big screen, and I did have a lot of fun in a lot of places with it. And there is a post credit scene that definitely debunks some Avengers Infinity War Endgame rumors that are out there right now, and it is worth the watch because for me, I was blown away by the credit, the post credit scene. Uh, it does a good job of tying some things together in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I don't necessarily know if I would put it up there with Wonder Woman as far as female led comic book movies. Again, taking nothing away from the cast, I think they did a great job. See it, see what you think about it. For me, I'll leave it with good, not great. And if you are going to see it in all its IMAX or XD spectacle, just remember shh, no talking, please.